Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode of the vlog. So today we are working on the Sea Ibiza for the last time because this car is now sold but the new owner wants me to give the car a service so that's exactly what we're going to do and you're going to be here for the ride. Okay, so on the Seat today, we are going to be doing a full service. So that's oil, oil filter, air filter, and plugs. Uh, the reason why we're going down that route is because we ha we don't know when this car was last serviced. I have checked with Seat, and Seat said that the car was serviced sometime in 2017. And these cars do go a couple of years without servicing, but just to make sure we're going to give it everything and change the plugs as well so the new owner doesn't have anything to worry about for at least the next couple of years right so let's crack on and get this done so this car under the bonnet was really clean anyway and i have given it a bit of a clean up just to uh, make it that much better so uh, we're going to change the filter but before we go and do the oil and the oil filter we're going to take the car to get the uh, steering aligned because if you recall we did change the um, both of the arms and so I want to make sure that the steering is all done so we'll take it down and get that aligned then we'll come back and do an oil change. two hours later okay so fresh back from getting the tires or the wheels aligned and boy were they out they were so far out that the guy who did them he said that they were off the charts so they needed to be done so that's great okay so the next thing we need to do now is the spark plugs we need to get the cap off here and then we will then extract the um, uh, plugs and then replace them. We'll take a look and see what they look like as well. So there's the old on the left and there's the new on the right. The left one is looking slightly worn, the gap's slightly big as well. The right hand of one is obviously clearly gapped, but we will check them out to have a look. So the, the, the left ones are okay, they, would, they probably are due to be changed, so it's uh, probably prudent to do them. So let's get them done.
Okay, oil filter time. So this is the new oil filter that we're gonna put on. And notice it's got this little nut on the top here, which is great. It means that we can use our socket set to take this off. So I am going to, where is it? Here it is here. Use this here, and then we're gonna grab it from underneath and loosen it off. Unfortunately, it is proper underneath the car. So the oil filter is actually underneath this or this manifold here so I can't show you me doing it because you're just not going to be able to see it but I've got a bucket underneath there to catch the oil and then once we've done that we'll then change the oil and I've got a nice little tool that I'm going to show you how we do that so let's get this old oil filter off first and then we'll change the oil okay so here's our old oil filter when some of the oil that came out we used a bucket now to do the main drain what we've done is we've warmed the engine up for a few minutes and we're just allowing the oil to sink back into the um, sump and we've got this device here now i use this it's a nine liter vacuum and what you do is you have these hoses here um, which go into the dipstick and the reason why I use this is because it's just a, I, I just find it personally an efficient way to get the oil out of the system and then it contains it into a container rather than jacking the car up what a lot of people do I guess jack the car up and then let it drain into uh, a bucket or, or, or something and then what I have in the corner here I have a 25 litre drum and I use that to collect any oil I have and then I go down to the dump when that gets full and then drain it into a recycle center there but this is really good it's a nice neat way of doing it and it means that you don't have to change the um take out the uh sump plug and replace it which you should do when you have an oil change because what happens is that the when you loosen the um, washer the oil will then start to leak through this the washer which is no longer compressed so this is just an efficient way does it get all of the oil out Probably not, um, but it gets around 90, 90, 90, 95% of the oil out from when I've used it in the past. And if you do a, a drain after, very little oil comes out, which is probably around the same as when you do the dipstick, when you take the sump plug out and drain. Yeah, I know there'll be comments on here, but this is a really great way of doing it. And so this is the method that I use. And in fact, I think it's a method that a lot of places use as well. Anyway, enough of the waffle. Let me show you how it works. Right, so I've got this for you in my Amazon store if you're interested in buying one yourself. So ch check out the link in the description. The kit comes with, it actually comes with four. You've got this brass one um, for, we, um, well, it's basically a thinner diameter uh, than the plastic one. Um, and it's for fiddly, uh, fiddly um, dipsticks. So you've got this copper one, not brass. Then you've got, um, two other thicknesses as well. So you've got this one here and then obviously the thin one here. This one works with most of the VW applications. And then this one, this bit here, this goes into the top of the nozzle here. So it goes into here. So we'll get that set up now. Oh, and then obviously this bit here goes into the end here like that. So you get your vacuum. And then you literally just pump it up and then it sucks the oil out and you keep sucking until nothing else comes out. So I'll, I'll show you it in action then you can uh, judge for yourself. Okay, so we've drained the oil out and we've given it another pass. That's why it's 
low you would expect it to be up there somewhere but anyway this has done its job now the whole purpose of using this is it makes oil changes really quick and easy and less messy so you don't forget under the car and jack it up etc etc however this is not the quickest way it's quite slow so if you do invest in this just be warned about that and you do need to warm the car up thoroughly because the thicker the viscosity of the oil the longer it takes to, for this to extract it it's only a vacuum and um, it, though it does work the oil does need to be warm so just heed that the best way is still the normal vacuum way okay so not the normal vacuum way the normal drain way but it's just more messy right so we're going to fill up now with um some QX oil, um, QX triple, um, and uh, that'll be it. This job will be done. Okay, so the engine is now filled. We took about, must be about 4.7 liters. So we pretty much got most of the oil out uh, using the method, the vacuum method. So now we just need to take the car for a little test ride and then that will be it. And that is it. The CRI Beats is now sold. So that's another car gone. So that's two cars now. So the A1 is gone, the CRI Beats is gone. And I've actually just sold my Renault traffic van. I know, shock horror that's gone as well so um why are we move removing all our cars well new car coming soon or new product coming soon so that's coming up next week so um you're seeing this today on monday the new project would have arrived um but we'll break that out to you on uh thursday and also um the little see at me my son's car that's also going as well so um yeah but good news the q5 should be back today some point tonight and uh that should all be painted up and looking good so we'll probably see that as well um during the week so um yeah lots coming up so i hope you've enjoyed this episode a bit different than what we normally do um i've been getting requests from you guys to see a service so we've done a service and what made sense to service the um see it. good okay right so um Hopefully um, you've enjoyed this. If you have, don't forget to subscribe down here. If you're not a subscriber, click on the bell notification. And um, yeah, we'll see you on the next one on Thursday. Have a good week.